and welcome back everybody I'm your host black swan and today we're gonna to be playing stone shard now stone shard just came out in beta this is uh, episode 4 now in the last playthrough I played as Jorgrim and unfortunately at the end of the episode uh, Jorgrim suffered some uh, fatal damage so it looks like we're gonna be re-rolling characters this time I think I'm gonna play a different character just for playstyle um, differences. I kind of want to try Derwin. He's a ranger. Uh, I know I said in a previous episode that I wasn't really looking forward to the range combat, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give him a try. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, Varen. What do you want this time? So I'm going to skip through this really quickly. He wants me to go talk to one of the local. Uh, either the mayor or something so I can go accept uh, a quest so we can go buy some horses and get out of here so let's go ahead and jump right in so I have some good little starting equipment I have a bow and arrow let's go ahead and equip that and then I also have a dirk which is the dagger I've got 350 gold pieces and this game I'm this uh, episode I'm not gonna make the mistake of letting enemies come close to me um, Let's go ahead and see. I have two spell points and how many... Well, I don't have any ability points, but I have spell points. So let's go ahead and go to... Bow and arrow. What's this? Taking aim. Grants 50% accuracy and 10 damage for the next turn. Let's go ahead and do this. That looks like a great way to sneak up on somebody and do some actual damage. Uh, let me, you know what? I like passive spells. Let's see what this does. Taking aim. Also grants 7.5 crit and minus 10 fumble chance. Passive bonus. 3 cooldown duration for the skill dream skill tree and plus three weapon damage long range shot um it looks like it's a an attack just a basic attack that has a few a little bit of extra armor pen and some extra body part damage but you get 50 percent longer range on the shot that actually sounds pretty enticing you know what let's go ahead and do this since this playthrough i kind of want to play like a sniper i want to shoot him welcome to our tavern what's up brook what are you selling? Okay, so he's got some food. Oh, look, a pretzel. Hmm. Nice. What is this, hummus? Dumplings. Well, I don't really need food right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to try and... Uh, I kind of want to just blow through all this stuff really quickly. In the last episode, I talked to all these merchants. Not really missing anything. I don't want to spend too much time looting rooms because I died so quickly in the last uh, episode. I don't want to just make a whole bunch of episodes that are unneeded so I'm just gonna go really quickly I'm gonna skip talking to all the people and I'm just going ahead and take what I can uh, let me go ahead and sell. well I can't sell that so let's see what's up here really quickly um um Anything that's not nailed down, let's go ahead and swipe. 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 Okay, so all crap. And to be honest, let's go. You know what? I already have enough gold. I think this kind of play style is what I'm going to do when I play off camera. But for the camera, I don't want to make things uh, boring. So let's go ahead and just get right to the good stuff. I'm going to sell this crap, which I do not need. But before I do leave, I want to make sure that I have, um, I want to make sure that I have, uh, more arrows, because 20 arrows isn't that much, so I'm going to see if I can find a arrow peddler. Let's see, this guy's got swords and shields, I know what this guy is. Show me your wares, homeboy. Tan boots, um, well I don't need pyromantic tristes. Pearl necklace, healing efficiency, energy, well that's expensive and I do not need it. Homemade sword. Oh. No, all my stuff is actually stronger than that. Let me see. And he doesn't have any arrows, unfortunately. Um, is there anything else that anybody else has? You know what I do need that I don't want to run out of is medical supplies. Because the last game, I was I was surviving the fights no problem. The, the fights didn't kill me. It was suffering damage that I couldn't heal. That's what did me in. <laughs> So let's go ahead and... Huh. Huh, huh, huh. 
All that stuff costs way too much. I wonder if he has anything. I don't remember the blacksmith having anything worth value in here. He's got some pot. Get it? Haha. <laughs> Let's see. No. I'll come back and steal it and loot this guy's house later. What I think I'm going to do in between playthroughs and in between videos is I'm going to do the boring stuff, like all the stealing like I'm doing now. All the, uh, all the uh, mundane stuff that isn't fun for the camera. And then I'm going to pick back up. I actually need these. Those are good for bleeding. I'll pick the game back up when, when the more important stuff happens. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Jerk, you need something fixed? Show me your wares, homie. Ooh, okay, perfect. So we have some arrows. Well, I would like a round shield. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and give myself a little shield because I don't want to be stuck in combat with no way to protect myself. Derwin's bow is actually really good. I thought it was not going to be that good. Hmm. Not bad for a free thing. So let's see. I've got extra arrows. I got food. Everything seems to be in order. I just need to find um, the medical supplies. Whoever sells them. I haven't actually explored that part of town yet. Who's this? A tailor? What do you want from me? What are you selling, dude? Um, ooh. Well. Town's gloves. Frost resistance. Falcon ears gloves. Slashing resistance. Man, all this stuff is expensive. I mean, rightfully so. If I made leather armor and leather stuff, I would probably also sell it pretty expensive. I mean, that's how that's your livelihood, you know. You gotta make things worth what they're what they're worth. If especially with the cost of material, cost of time, and then cost of knowledge. A lot of people don't factor that in. I actually do uh, a little bit of woodworking on the side in real life, and I swear people want to lowball you. They don't really care, you know, how good quality the work is or how long it takes you. They just want the bottom line. Like if you're like Amazon or if you're, um, what's that thing that people use all the time? Ikea. Because it's, you know, crappy, shitty stuff, but it's mass produced and, you know, made with fiberboard. So when you actually make something good, they don't understand the quality. What's up, fried? I know my herbs. Everyone will tell you that. What are you selling? Ooh, awesome. This is what I needed. Herbal extract. So he's got some weed here. Let's go ahead and take the weed. He's got some splints. I'm going to buy those. Um, peppermint. Um, what is all this? Antitoxin. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy a bandage. I've got two bandages now. All right, guys. I feel like I'm good to go. Let's just buy a little bit of food while I'm searching that uh, fly. Ooh, look at that. Heck yeah, let's go ahead and grab these mushrooms. I don't know if you can actually cook them just yet. We'll figure that out later. I'm going to go ahead and buy that little bit of food, and then we're going to be on our... Oh, actually, I need to accept the quest from that guy before I go. Um, Seven gold for an apple, yeesh. Mind me never come back to you. What are you selling, lady? Um, How about some bread? And a potato. Ooh, some papas some papitas okay so let's go ahead and I believe the guy that I need to talk to is in here I remember he was upstairs alrighty so this guy's gonna tell me uh, the bandit den. I'm gonna go ahead and go to that tower head to Fort Inver okay so yeah we gotta go to that one abandoned tower where I I accidentally died in the last episode, so let's go ahead and head back there. I know exactly where it's at now. Not going to waste any time. Oh, but I am going to pick those up. And let's go ahead and head out. So last episode, I took a little bit of time to explore the forest a little bit. This time, I, I kind of already have a, a small idea where everything's at. I'm just going to pick up anything that's close to me. Uh, but I, I don't really want to go out of my way to pick stuff up. I guess this is fine. That's pretty close. What's horsetail? Actually, now that I'm here, just because I don't know what that is, what's horsetail? Is it a med medical herb? Yeah, perfect. See, I don't mind that. If it's going to be a medicine or something I can coat my weapons in, I don't mind that, like a poison. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pick these up really quick. 
And we're almost to that tower. <laughs> so a little bit of the mo Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and... It looks like I'm not going to be able to get any closer because those wolves are in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can shoot them from far away. Uh oh, now they both want now they're both coming for me. Oh no, this is exactly what happened in the last game. <laughs> this is exactly why I didn't want to be a ranged character because holy crap. Uh oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Oh lord. Lord, 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 help me. Awesome. Got him? Got him? Awesome. So I got the arrow. Oh, I got all my arrows back too. So let me see. I got a wolf pelt. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these mushrooms because I do not need them at the moment. But that wolf pelt, I can probably sell that for a pretty penny. Trade out my arrows. What? Why isn't it letting me pick up these arrows? So it looks like this is a little unintuitive at the moment. You can't just pick up arrows uh, as it seems. You can't just um, you can't just pick up uh, items and have them uh, like when you're. Let's see, like right here. I don't think they're gonna combine to save inventory space. Well, see, it did there, but. It didn't right now. I had two separate stacks of arrows, and there should have been more than enough room in my inventory to pick them up, and it was not picking them up, so... Um, uh-oh. Okay, let me sneak up on this guy really quick. Wham! Okay, I'm gonna skip my turns for- Oh, no! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so I'm bleeding already. This is no bueno. Let's go ahead and use a bandage on my leg, and then I'm going to... Man, taking damage already. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just hold on for a split second. You know, range combat isn't that bad. Well, I feel like it would really help it if I start uh, pouring when I level up, of course. I'm going to pour most of my, my points into perception. And just out of curiosity, I wonder what my chance to hit is right now. Accuracy, 37%? What? Oh my god, no wonder I'm missing so much. What in God's green earth? Wow, I, I wonder if it's just because I was attacking wolves, and wolves are probably a little harder to hit than the standard enemy, especially when I get to that tower. There's nothing but, like, transients there. <laughs> Am I in the right spot? Peppermint. Okay, I guess I can't use that. I believe I was supposed to go down for one of these, uh... Because if I check my map... I was supposed to go down to... Oh, you know what? I think I needed to go down one. Oh, yep. Right on time. Oh, that was a total miss. Got him. Got him. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chat, I'm worried. Oh my gosh. Forget that. Okay, I'm definitely resting. That was terrifying. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up. What does this do? Health restoration, healing efficiency, blood resistance. Um. Okay, you know what? Um, if you if you if you can see, I have arrows right here that are should be more than enough inventory space to pick them up, and it's doing. It, the arrow picking up thing is extremely unintuitive. I hope that they've changed that uh, fairly quickly. I mean, granted, this is still only just the beta, so I, I don't. I'm not expecting you know soup for the game to be super polished, but something like that is just common sense. You know, if you have enough inventory space or enough room in one of your stacks of arrows, and you can't pick it up for whatever reason, that just that's just silly. Look at the little bunny. I'm not gonna hurt your bunny. I don't need your I don't need your pelt. If I was some other type of mean person, I'd probably kill it, but not me. I I like to I th like to think of myself as fairly peaceful. Live and let live. Okay. Where is this dang tower? Oh. Wham. Oh. Come on. Gotcha. Uh oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come on. Got him. Okay. So, it's doing this dumb stuff again. You know what? This is really getting to be a pain. Um, that's something that I'm definitely going to complain about. Or not complain. That's something I'm going to bring to the developer's attention. Uh, when they have like forms or whatever asking what are the things that they can improve I'm gonna say hey man you've updated you have dated the game twice since beta since launch and arrow stacks are completely unintuitive they don't work right it doesn't make any sense whatsoever what is this is this a wolf? Oh, that's a deer I don't mind deers oh my deer get it ha 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 so it looks like I'm hungry okay so it looks like I'm super lost so if the town is right here, let's go ahead and start one more time because I let me I'm gonna have to count the the tiles. Okay, so let's go ahead and check my inventory. Pull up my map. So this is the town. Oh, okay, I gotta go down here. This is where I made the mistake. I went a little too far. So let's go ahead and get right back on track. Oh, look at the fox. Fox and socks. How about that? And you guys remember that book? Dr. Seuss? No? Okay. Alright, so I need to continue on this path one more time. Uh oh. Bro, this guy doesn't want it. You don't want it. Don't even pretend like you want it, dude. Come on. Oof. 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 Uh-oh. 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 Alrighty. So, so far... Let's go ahead and just pick up all... How many, I'm curious to see how many times I missed. And I'm also hungry, so let's go ahead and eat. Drink some water. I'm gonna go ahead and rest really quickly. And I missed nine shots. Holy crap. That's really bad. Okay. Just waiting until my health bar gets completely up to 100%. Because I'm going to go fight inside that tower right now. And there's a lot of enemies in there. And I do not want to go in there and make the same mistake. Now this playthrough looks like it's going to be a little tougher. Only because I'm missing so many of my shots. That is actually kind of depressing. I thought that the... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, 
Come on. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal my hand. I have a mild hand injury. Okay, so I wonder if I can literally just rest it off. Will that work? Well, it looks like it is, but the injury is not going away. At least not yet. Um, and I'm in strong pain, and I'm confused from the pain. Well, this game definitely has a very steep learning curve. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than that. But uh, no matter. We will make do. Let's see if I can use this one more time. Okay, so now my hand is being st my hand is stabilized. Do I have anything for the pain? So I'm a little I got a little bit of toxic poisoning, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and drink some water. So we should be good now. And these wolf pelts are worth a lot. So let's go ahead and grab that other wolf pelt just in case I make it out and I do survive. Oh my goodness, what the heck? These things are everywhere. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe I am going to be able to get this guy. Um, come on. Awesome. Okay, see now I can pick up the arrows no problem. I don't know what's going on with the game, why it's acting like this, but um whatever I guess I'll deal with it I'll deal with it for now but you know what aside from the game being incredibly difficult um, I am having I am having fun with it the, the click to move system is a little wonky I'm not the biggest fan of that but um, you know comes with this type of game let's see I believe right now I'm at that tower now it's gonna be okay I agree I tell people that all the time you say you're having a bad day? Are you having a bad day or are you having a bad minute? You know what I mean? Like, whatever you're going through in that exact moment, was the entire day really that bad or are you just allowing five or ten minutes dictate your mood for the day? A little food for thought. And not only that, but anything can be, your your situation can always be improved upon. You know, you just change, it just takes a change of mind frame. Okay, so we're here. I need to be extremely careful here. I'm going to try and take these guys out from afar. Um, any breadcrumbs around? This guy's hungry. So I need to find a way to sneak up on these guys. Boom. Got him. This guy has no idea where I'm at. Uh oh. Hey, he does. It does look like this guy has a sword on him, so something good might come from murdering him. Battle cleaver. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and trade that out. Ooh, I like it a lot better than what I had. I had a little crummy dirk. And you know what? I wonder if I can sell that crummy little dirk. See how much it'll be worth. 692? Oh, oh, yeah. You are crazy. Definitely going to be selling that. Let's go ahead and snipe this guy. Ooh, got him. And that's good. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I chopped this guy's head off. And there's the proof. Wait, can I pick it up? No, I can't. That'll, that would be a little weird. Oh, on a campfire. I wonder if I can cook. Oh, nope. I'm not at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and rest really quickly before I go in there. Matter of fact, I need to check what's the difference between my Dirk and this Cleaver. Armor penetration. So this one does better armor penetration. However, the guys that I'm fighting don't have armor. At least they don't look like they do. Um, and the one I'm wearing currently, my Battle Cleaver has a plus 25 percent crit efficiency so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the cleaver right now alright guys Fort Inver Ooh. 
Oops. Okay. Oh, herbal extracts. That's actually really good. Let's go ahead and eat this pine cap. Pick up the herbal extract because that's actually really good. Um, let's go ahead and eat one more pine cap because it's good for healing. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chat. Oh my gosh. Um, wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and just head back for a minute. And <laughs> that's the only downside of this game is that it's extremely easy to lose all your health. You see how two people in melee. Now, granted, I'm not a melee character. I only had my sword and shield equipped just in case I turn around a corner and en encounter a group of enemies. And that's exactly what happened because it'd be really hard to try and shoot your bow and arrow in close combat. Plus, my sword and shield bonus in melee is going to be a lot better than trying to shoot my bow. So, let's see. I'm over here. Let's go ahead and eat some food, drink some water. Hello, Schmiegel. My cat just jumped up here to sit by me. Hello, Schmee. What are you doing, Schmiegel? Say hi, Schmee. Say hi. She doesn't want to say hi right now. Say hi, Schmee. Me. Okay. Maybe later. All right. So, let's go back out. I, have, I feel like I have enough health. Let's see, what was that? An apple? Tom tomato. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just take everything later on. Because right now my inventory is full. What I'm going to do is I want to clear out everything in this dungeon before I uh, decide to move on. I don't need that pot. The herbal extract would be good. Let's go ahead and eat that tomato. So I can trade. There you go. And you know what? Now I know where the second floor is. So let's go ahead and clear out the rest of the first floor before we make our way any further. Oh, nice! Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Now that is a find. That is a find. I found a level 3 uh, pyromancy book on my very first walkthrough. Not bad. So we're going to come back for that just because I don't have any room for it. And it's not really going to uh, serve me any purpose at the moment. So let's go ahead and take this gold. What? Okay. Let's take that gold. Um, can I pick this? Hey, stop it. Sorry, cat's trying to eat something that she's not supposed to, like she always does. Oh, and you look at that, an unidentified ring, and I just so happened to find an identification scroll. Vigorous Silver Amethyst Ring. I have Unholy Resistance, Spell Energy Cost minus 5%, plus 10 Health Restoration, and plus 5 he uh, Healing Efficiency, and plus 11 Energy. That is a definite, definitely good catch. Good find. Um, that shield is worth nothing, and I found some beer. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so right here. This guy's just sitting on the ground. Looking like a fool with his pants on the ground. Okay, one more time. One more time. Yeah, cut his head off. Okay, so I'm finding a lot of good stuff. Straw, that's not good stuff. I found some more mead, which I don't... Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and drink the mead now. There, now I'm super drunk. I'm going to pick up more mead. Why? Just because I like to get drunk. That is my kryptonite, unfortunately. In game, of course. In game. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to drink in real life. Come on. What do you guys think? Think I don't have control of my life? Huh? Manshire fortified, even more. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch my weapons. I'm gonna take it step by step. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and loot. What's in here? Man, I'm finding a lot of gold. And if you guys notice, also the the gold the gold stacking system is also unintuitive. You can't just pick it up and it'll go right into your nearest coin purse. You actually have to pick it up, drop it into your coin purse, and then re re drop it. It's kind of kind of a nuisance, but. I'm assuming within the next major, um, oh, okay. I'm assuming during the next major, um, patch, they're going to change a lot of that stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. So I'm in pain. Let's go ahead and use this. 
I believe I'm still in pain. Those mushrooms help for the pain. Let's go ahead and drink some water. And I believe I'm actually... Oh, I'm really hungry. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat this bread. Eat this tomato. And let's go ahead and rest. Man, what the heck? I literally just ate like three things. Man, the hunger, the hunger system in this game is a little broken. I really hope they work on that too because... Man, this guy just had like a whole salad. I just had a bunch of fruits, a bunch of tomatoes. I had a bunch of, I think I had like two stacks of bread. And this guy is dying of terrible hunger. Holy crap. Holy crap, chat. Holy crap. Okay, so... Let me see. Does that change the way my... Oh, that changes my strength. And, I'm, and I've got dehydration too. Probably because I drank too much alcohol, but whatever. Well, all right, guys. Let's see. I think I made it through. Ooh, some garlic. Let's go ahead and eat garlic. Cause I know garlic is good for you. There. Now I don't think I'm gonna be attracting any vampires. Oh, look, another tomato. Tomato and garlic. That actually makes a pretty good uh, little dish when you when you cook it up. Maybe with some um, zucchini. Oh my gosh! Would you look at that? Zucchini, carrots, garlic. Man. I'm gonna, next game, next episode, I think I'm gonna try and see if you can cook, if you can do any cooking, any type of cooking. So, with that, guys, I made it through the first dungeon. I hunted some animals. I tried out the range system. It's not bad. It's, it's, it could use a little work. I'm not gonna lie. It could use a little polish. But then again, it is still in beta. Um, and early stages of beta. So, I have, I'm very hopeful for some of the changes. I am going to be frequenting the forums and talking about what I've, what I've noticed, what, uh, what I wouldn't mind seeing change in this game. Uh, Combat-wise, health-wise, uh, definitely hunger-wise, because I'm literally just eating everything in my bag, and nothing is, it's not doing a damn thing. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 4 of Stone Shard. You can pick it up on Steam right now. It's on sale 10% uh, off. It's $15 normally. It's on sale for $13. Um, yeah, and uh, again, this is on beta, so don't, 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 don't expect this to be super polished right now, but the developers are actively working on it. It just came out. It's a fun game. It's a great game. Um, so with that, guys, I'm going to say I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's uh, episode. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a like or maybe even a subscribe. And if you don't, well, I'm just glad that you tuned in and was able to enjoy the content because at the end of the day, that's what I'm here to put out good content for you guys to watch. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say sayonara. This is Black Swan, and I'm out.